Hello, today I'm going to explain how you can use custom uh, filter attributes to protect your, your MVC application using custom membership. So let's see for example this controller and let's set some rules for it. For example only an editor of finances and an administrator can access this action method. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is create a folder on your MVC project, call it filters. You create a new class, in my case I called it role attribute. And it has to inherit from authorize attribute. Okay with me so far? Next you have to override uh, the authorize core method. Give it an HTTP context base. And basically what this does is returns false if the user doesn't have permission to use the action method or returns true if he's okay. So first we check if the user e is even authenticated in the system. If he's not authenticated, kick him out. He's not authenticated. He doesn't have permission. Next, I create a uh, user repository. I have a method called, well, it's in Spanish, but this method is called fetch me a user by email. And to get the user that's logged in email, I use the HTTP context dot user dot identity dot name. Now, when do I set this? If you go to my user controller, let's try to find the logon method. Here we go. Iniciar sesión. That's a logon method. On the forms authentication set authentication cookie, I use the correo, the, the email. That's why I can invoke that email using the identity.name. So let's head back to the role attribute. Now once we get here, I already have the user that's logged in, right? Then I have another method called get the roles for the user. Now this method returns a array of strings, a string array, by fetching uh, all the roles a user has using its ID. And then it's just a matter of iterating through each of the roles and comparing it to the roles I, uh, I provided in the controller. So let's go, go back and check that out. I'm passing in the editor, finances, and administrator roles, string. Notice how it's uh, a string with commas. And here I just split it, right? Yada yada yada. We compare them. If there's a match, we return true. He's he's authorized. Now, what happens if the user is not authorized? We re we uh, have to return false, right? And once that returns, this method is fired. Handle unauthorized request. And we can redirect it wherever we want. Type in uh, filter context result. Give it a new redir redirect result. And remember, you have to go to the web.config and search for this part, authentication mode, forms, forms login. And if you want the user to be kicked out to the home page, if he tries to access something that he's not authorized to, you can uh, redirect him to the root of the application. And that's pretty much it there is to it. I'll show you my uh, database schema. It's nothing out of this world. In fact, you might find something that's wrong with it. Please let me know. So let's let that load. All right, let's find the user. Okay, this is pretty much it. We have a table for our users where we save their uh, email address, their password, all of that stuff. Then we have a table that's called role user. That's where that's like a catalog of all the roles we have in the system. So there we would put um, regular user, editor, administrator, all that. And here we combine the two of them, right? Because a user can have uh, one or more roles. A user can be assigned one or more roles. 
So basically, uh, the thing you're going to have to want to look out for is how to fetch those rolls. And it's pretty simple. I use this method, this uh, method get rolls for user. I give it an ID. Let's, let's check it out. Yeah, there we go. I called db.user, single or default, find me the user that has this ID and then return all the roles the user has by name. Hmm? Simple enough. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later.